And who are the grateful ones? الَّذِينَ يَحْمَدُونَ اللَّهِ فِي السَّرَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ Those who used to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in times of ease and in times of hardship. They loved Allah so much that no matter what, what they endured, they thanked Allah. When times were difficult, they still thanked Allah. And we're witnessing that in real time. We're witnessing fathers losing their beloved children and still saying, Alhamdulillah, all praises to Allah who accepted my family as shuhada. It doesn't mean their hearts are not torn in a thousand pieces of pain and sadness. Even the Prophet ﷺ was sad over burying his sons. But their faith, solid. Alhamdulillah, Ya Allah, this dunya is short, we're going to go at, and eventually. But I thank you, you've kept our faith. Thanking Allah in times of hardship. None of us have a reason or excuse to complain or turn away from him. When you see the, the steadfast of the people in Gaza, what excuse do we have to ever complain? Thanking Allah in times of hardship and thanking Allah in times of ease. How? By not using the ease and the wealth and the success Allah has given us to forget him, to disobey him, to oppress others, but using the wealth to build the ummah, to help the needy, to help the suffering, to be grateful to Allah through our charity and our sadaqah. So the first people, the Prophet Muhammad said, who will enter paradise on the day of judgment are those who thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in times of ease, which we are all in, and in times of hardship.